What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Comic Card Checklist and for this episode we're going to be doing an, another unboxing and this is actually a whole bunch of different cards that I had sitting in Upper Deck E-Pack for a while so I don't even remember like what I'm getting but I think it's Marvel Beginnings and Marvel Allure so pretty new sets i think uh 2022 for the marvel beginnings and marvel allure might be 2022 as well um along with other stuff i i, I can't even remember but uh we'll just get started because uh yeah because i'm not sure what i'm going to get here since i ordered this maybe Oh, like February or early yeah I think early February and um, what's today like April like mid-April so um, yeah it definitely took a while maybe like I was supposed to receive this by March something uh, according to their website but when I actually got it it was like I just got it today so they've been backed up a bit so um oh it looks like help nothing got damaged looks like it got a pretty bad uh pretty bad boo-boo uh, over here so um hopefully everything is okay but we'll see what we got and yeah i think everything is gonna be okay because it's a box within a box so we'll get rid of this and Looks like I'm not getting that much. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely not that much. I thought I was gonna get a lot more, but this order might be a little bit smaller. Usually, like I'll have like over a hundred or so cards, but um, yeah, looks like this might be a short episode because um, it doesn't look like it's gonna be much, but. Here we have, uh, I was trying to get like the whole set of transparent past, but of course, um, I just, I wasn't able to get all of them. Maybe like half of them, not even. Let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Um, <clears throat> let me look up at the website. Uh, they should have a checklist of the transparent past, and let's see how many uh, there are for the whole set. So I'm looking at it, and it seems that there are 60 uh, transparent past from TP1 all the way to TP60 uh, and let's see the breakdown for a uh, transparent past it looks like for each um, each one of these the chances of you getting one of these is one for Ooh. and I almost uh, messed up my gear uh, let me try to put this back my uh, setup broke, so uh, like I might have to buy a new uh, a new mount. But uh, anyway, uh, I think I could still continue if I could get this back in the right spot. <clears throat> but like I was saying, there are sixty cards to this set, and it looks like the odds of getting one is one in every sixty packs. Um. And this is the first time I'm seeing these cards, so I hope my mount's good. I think it should be good. So, so yeah, uh, they seem to be a little bit thicker than uh, the regular cards. Probably the the thickness of like the new cards. I'm not sure if it's like a what point they are, but. Uh, when I do do ep episode on this, I'll include uh, their thickness. Um, 
right now I'm just unboxing them and yeah my first time seeing them so but it looks like your typical uh, uh, acetate card that came out with like the flare like 2019 that kind of stuff and it just has like a basic uh, beginning you have your uh, transparent past logo the character and then just the name and that's pretty much about it and then just a white background and it's numbered uh, TP24 and pretty much that's about it so yeah um, and I forgot I just counted this earlier and I already forgot like how many it was but I guess I have like 20 something so I have a third of the set here if I have 20 something because there's 60 so still a long way to go to complete the set but we got vision at TP19 transparent pass could also be a I guess TP could also be toilet paper you know we got Namor at number TP8 oh there are a few words in the back it says the submariner was an expert swimmer who could destroy an entire ship with his bare hands without having to surface for air okay wait I thought he lived I, I thought he lived underwater what do you mean surface for air uh, maybe back then he was like like a normal human like what are they saying like I thought he was like a the fish he had physiology of a fish so um yeah like maybe the characters change over time so I guess this is also transparent past and maybe this is uh when they initially like came out with the character that's how they were so even Doctor Doom is not like he's in gray he's supposed to be like in green so but this is TP49 oh and we got the original vision which is uh all white like we saw in WandaVision if you guys saw that but he is TP39 and I'm not sure if uh, there's tiers to this it looks like it's just 1 through 60 with no uh, tier system so uh, all of them should be uh, 1 out of 60 but of course like the better characters I feel like um, will be more expensive uh, as usual but it looks like we have Namor here again so um, I think each character has like three different versions of them um, I'm not really sure but like I said this is my first time seeing them and I haven't really looked at the like what to expect for this subset so um, let me see where the first name was so this is number 48 oh and this one is number eight so I thought they would be like together like next to each other but I guess they're like from completely different so TP8, TP48, and we got Namor here again, and this is number 28. So yeah, I would think they would be uh, next to each other, but because it looks like, judging from the costume, like this, this is the newest one, like oldest to newest. So, but yeah, uh, 8, 28, and 48. So <laughs> definitely not next to each other. Oh, we're getting at least some good uh, sp character here. We got Spider-Man, but it looks like... Ooh, is that damage? What is that? Damn, out of the best card, uh, this one had to have damage on it. Well, that sucks. And this is straight out of uh, E-Pack, so... You know, their quality has been... Well, I don't know if they've been going down, but uh, some of the cards are just... Uh, gets messed up sometimes so but oh well it is what it is we got 46 oh we got the um, this is the um uh falcon and the winter soldier this is actually the uniform he's wearing as captain america um for season i think it's season one or season two but yeah this was the costume he was wearing so tp41 and we got hulk uh, TP3 which is still I guess he's still in black and white instead of green we got Professor Xavier Professor X at TP12 Doc Ock um, it doesn't look like the movie one here 
and he has a jacket and a suit inside uh, TP40 we got another Hulk but this time he's green I think earlier in the 90 or 60s he was uh, he was like gray but eventually he turned green I guess um, we got Beast and Beast is looking kind of pale here he's not his usual blue this is not really the best looking card <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm having gripes about this one. And then we got the vision that we recognized from the Avengers or One Division. Uh, it looks a little bit different, but the the color scheme is about there. And this is TP fifty nine. Then we have Silver Surfer. I'm actually familiar with this art. Uh, this was a uh, Silver Surfer, I think number. Crap, I forgot what comic number it was. I want to say in like the one of its ma most famous ones. So, but I do have it. It's it's somewhere. I haven't looked at it in years, so that's why I can't remember. Then we got Thanos, the OG of uh, OG villain for Endgame. I have not seen this uh, version of Doctor Octopus. This might be his newest uh, version. Not really sure. Uh, TP and he seems to be the last card. TP sixty. And we got the old school Falcon. Well, this might not be the old school Falcon. I can't tell if that's metallic or not. But if it's feathers, it's the old school. But this looks like it might be the newer one because this this might be metallic. So, and this is TP twenty one. And we got the original Beast. Uh, TP18 but he's already blue but oh actually he's not blue he's wearing a costume so he's still in human form so this was like the X-Men first class version and then we got Thanos again did I did I just get a double is this another Thanos number 30 um I thought I got a different Thanos oh no they, they are different but the outfit's almost the same so uh, this one is TP30 and this one is TP10. And finally, the 90s Dr. Octopus that uh, we could all recognize is TP20. And that is it for, uh, I guess, the Marvel Beginnings Transparent Past. And yeah, of course, I'm going to try to um, collect the whole set, all 60, but... Yeah, th this might be getting really expensive. Um, I forget like how much they're selling for. So, but it looks like we got some more. I'll do the Marvel or lore last. I'll finish up with the Marvel beginnings, and I'll I'll just split them right now. Uh, we got the allure. Pretty much this com this will complete my Marvel allure uh, Infinity Stones. Which, if you guys don't know anything about it, it's a subset of the Marvel Allure. And it's really just 20 characters, but because it's the Infinity Stones, they have one, um, each of the character, each one of the 20 characters will have uh, six different type of stones. So, um, yeah, you have to collect each character uh, with different stones in the background for to complete the whole set so that would be like 120 cards total so yeah and it's also a numbered card set so it each one is 299 so it's it was um i'm happy that i finally got like all of them but yeah it took me a little bit to find all of the all of the stones like really it was like looking for the infinity stones but yeah i'm, I'm glad like after this um package i would have the complete set uh, in fact, I have the binder already, so I could show you guys like what I have already. So, um, yeah, I'll just separate out the uh, beginnings, and I think that should be it for this. Um, yeah, for this package, I don't think I have anything else different except for these uh, transparent past uh, Marvel beginnings and the first appearances uh, Marvel beginnings 
and the Mar Marvel Allure uh, Infinity Stance. So these are actually pretty rare, what I'm about to show you guys. I know it, um, it might look like a base card for the Marvel Beginnings, but it's not. And I will show you guys after I separate these, these two how, um, how they're actually not, not like your basic card. So, <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm missing a lot of the stones. I thought I was uh, almost com complete with it, but it looks like yeah, I have so much. And we got one left over. It looks like the Hulk. Um, this looks like the Hulk that was pictured with Wolverine somewhere like in this area. I can't remember, but uh, I think it, it was in the Wolverine uh, from then till now card set. Uh, yeah, and, and I think this was the picture, but they, they took Wolverine out, I think. But anyway, this is TP23. And let's move on to this. So this, um, these cards right here, it looks like it's just base cards, but these are actually not base cards. These are more rare than, um, these are actually more rare than the transparent past. And I'll just, let me see. I'll, I'll just look up the... Um, the odds of getting these cards and um, show you guys like how rare they are but let me just finish uh, taking all these pieces of paper out that uh, Com C like to I guess how they keep track of each card in Com C. <clears throat> um, but yeah so the first appearances are labeled as such uh, you have the FA so the first appearance goes all the way to I think 50 and there's three tiers for them so FA 1 through 25 is tier 1 and they're 1 in 162 packs and then 26 to I think 40 is tier 2 and those are 1 every 348 packs and the final tier which is tier 3 is 1 every 659 packs so tier 3 which would be 40 to uh, 50 would be um, 1 in every 659 packs so that's really um, that's really rare uh, let me see. I'm looking at the odds right now for, from the website, and right now that that's the highest um, tier three of this first appearance variant is the highest out of any any odds for any card, unless they're of course numbered. Then you know there's only five of them. But as far as like regular cards that are not numbered or serialized, they're 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 probably the most rare. But they don't look. They don't really look anything special, so um, let me see what I could compare it to. So the tier three is one every six hundred and fifty nine, and then I'm trying to see if this set has a. Um, yeah, I think the. Yeah, these are the, I think, the highest, um, the rarest for things that are not serialized. Because they have a lot, the, a lot of the base parallels that are numbered. So they have like, uh, Blue Cosmic Cube, was, which is uh, serial to 99. And then they have like a Purple Reality, which is like 1 out of 1, so... Those are like a sketch card level, which is like if someone has the one, then that's it. Like nobody else has it. Um, but yeah, I don't see any higher uh, odds for anything else except for the tier three of these cards, which, uh, you know, just taking a look from them, they don't even look that, that special. Um, I want to see if I could take out my... 
well actually I'll do that on a, a separate episode but I'll compare them to my uh, pretty much my base uh, Marvel Beginnings card set which I do have like four or five parallels for each base card but um, I don't remember the art so but but yeah th these are somehow like very underrated but somewhat rare so but I have um, so 1 through 25 is tier 1 and then if I remember correctly uh, 26 to 40 is tier 2 and then uh, 41 to 50 should be tier 3 so I don't remember the exact amount of tier 3 I have but those should be the rare the rarest and yeah six, 659 one in every 659 packs is uh, pretty pretty rare that's um I think some jambalaya cards come like one every every like 100 and so packs so but yeah like I said they don't they look underwhelming um for something like so rare they don't really look like much but the tier three these should be the rarest i have one two three four five six seven so i need three more cards to complete like the i guess this will be the rarest not numbered card out of the out of the whole Mar marvel beginning uh ser series but <coughs> but yeah um yeah I'll, I'll do a different video to show you guys i guess the difference between these variants and um the regular cards but um i will just take a look at it for now so you got kate bishop <coughs> so no no flair no nothing um it looks it looks like a base card and i don't know why it's so rare so <laughs> we got kingpin yeah uh Spider-Man 2099. It, it, yeah, yeah, you guys. It, it looks just like a base card. Uh, I might be overhyping these cards, but... I don't know why they are so rare and they're so basic looking. Like, they could have done, like, uh, any of the foiling system that they could have done with the other cards that are, like, a lot more rare than these cards or that are numbered, but they didn't do anything with this and it's I don't, I don't understand how the odds for these cards are so much higher than the than the other cards so but um yeah we'll, ju we'll just get through this um not really seeing like the appeal to collecting these especially if uh they were priced a lot higher um yeah, they they look basic. Like, if if I was to like, I guess show this to anybody, like without looking at the back, um, people would just think it's like a base card. Like, it's it's really underwhelming. <laughs> uh, Ant Man, uh, Kitty Pride, and Kitty Pride doesn't even look like a Kitty Pride. Like, who's who's this pirate? Um, <clears throat> so I guess the most I'm missing is the tier two, which if I really want to complete this set, it's kind of, it might be really expensive. So, <laughs> but, um, purple man, we got blade, we got Kang the conqueror. I was really, uh, hoping for, um, the sequels for the Marvel MCU with Kang as the main villain, but yeah it's sad what happened to uh jonathan major so uh, we got namor and finally the the rarest cards in uh, marvel beginnings you guys that's not like numbered uh here it is one every six one in every 659 packs apparently <laughs> we got odin doesn't look that great wolverine at least Wolverine, uh, I don't know. This is like the the base card. Uh, he's in a brown costume. Uh, Professor X, uh, Finn Fang Foom. I don't know why he's tier four. Mr. Fantastic, 
uh, Thor and Watu the Watcher. <clears throat> but anyway, um, if you guys can't pick up the amount of hate I'm giving towards these cards, it's just... How are these cards supposedly that rare when they don't look like... They don't look much. <laughs> I was expecting like uh, they look better in person, but they're just, they look like base cards. Uh, but anyway, um, on to our last part of this uh, unboxing. I will get my Marvel Allure binder. Uh. So this binder is what I have for the Marvel Allure so far. And I hope my phone doesn't drop again. <clears throat> and why is it so dusty? So Marvel Allure. Uh, here I have the base. And then the black rainbow parallel. Which you can't really see the, the effect of... Is this black rainbow? Yeah, it is black rainbow. I, I don't know why the the rainbow effect is not showing up, but uh, uh, yeah, maybe it's my lighting. I don't know why the rainbow effect is not showing up, but this is the um, I think sunrise. Yeah, and the first one hundred cards are literally the base cards, but the they're the low ser uh, series and then the next 50 which is 151 to 150 are the high series and they actually um kind of break it apart on that point because the cards from the high series look different from the low uh series so but yeah this is just all the base the base set 1 to 100 you have your base all the way on the left you have black rainbow in the middle and then you have your um, sun kissed or sorry sunrise I keep thinking like orange sun kissed orange or something but but yeah this is a fairly decent size uh, card set but the um, the parallels make this like set like a lot bigger because I think there's uh, maybe like seven different parallels and of course, I just have the cheaper ones that uh, you can get. But yeah, because um, you know the, the, this hobby is, gets very expensive. So um, <clears throat> we'll just go through it real quick. But yeah, I got the full base one to one hundred for the base black rainbow and the sun kiss, and then. If I ever get to the next part, it feels like there's a lot more than a hundred here. I'm, I've been turning so many pages, but <clears throat> here is card 100, and then here is card 151. So the base is like this, and then <coughs> the base one to 100 is like this, and then the high series 151 to 150 is a different color. So. What I've noticed so far is that um, <clears throat> for the parallels, they may have up to one, one fifty. That, like for for example, this red prism, but the high series also looks different from the the one the first one hundred base. So, uh, I don't know if you guys could see the effect more for the for the red prism or maybe it's just the way my camera is angled that's why it's not picking up that um that rainbow effect as well but uh yeah i got the whole 100 to 150 <coughs> and like i said uh if i find card i think this is the one 100 and then this is the Oh no, this is only at 80. So two more. So this is card 100 and then this is card 101. So when you get to um, the high series, the the back the background pretty much changes. 
So you have this uh, area that's more opened up while here uh, it looks a lot darker. So yeah, um, but other than that, the red prism looks the same, except for, of course, the bordering is different. I think I tried to get one of each uh, parallel so that in a future episode when I do my Marvel Allure episode I could show you guys like the difference and uh, how each parallel looks and I have some of them but here is the die cut sun I want to say like sun kissed again but it's the orange slice and all of them are labeled right here so you can tell exactly which par base parallel they are and here is <clears throat> uh, let me see if I could get the the odds for them in the website so So regular high series cards is one every pack. The black rainbow parallel is one every two packs. The red prism parallel is one every four for the one to 100. And then the high one is um, one every eight packs. And then uh, these orange slice that we just saw was one every eight. Then <clears throat> We have the storm parallel. Um, I don't know if I have a storm parallel. But the storm parallel is numbered. So so pretty much like uh, there's only 199 of them. And then there's the green quartz. And it's like this. So luckily I have a low one here again and a high one. So they're both green quartz and they're both uh, 90, 99. But yeah, the same effect pretty much for the low series and then the high series has that uh, more wide open um, uh, bordering and the the bottom is also like more silver. So, But yeah, um, those are the difference between the two. Um, let me see. And then you have the, the white diamond parallel, which I am not going to get, which is numbered to 50 because uh, I saw some of them and their prices were <laughs> outrageous. And then the high series for the white diamond is also uh, numbered to 50. And then blue line parallel, parallel is numbered to 35, which I think I have. So... Oh, never mind. Uh, I guess I have one diamond. Um, I guess I have one diamond that's uh, number 250, and this is a high series because of the. Yeah, this is card 146, so you have that pattern. Um, and then the blue. And I think both of these are. It looks like they're. They're both high. So, uh, blue line is. Uh, serial to 35 and we have uh, Baron Zemo and Hawkeye so yeah they look pretty nice um, I think uh, yeah and, and I think the the rest are like more rare so I'm not even gonna talk about this but here is the symmetry subset, which is, let me see if I can find it here. Symmetry, symmetry, horizontal. Uh, it's like a whole bunch of jumble. That, uh, um, I can't find it right now, but I'm going to say that I think it's one every four for this. Uh, regular uh, the black symmetry colored one and there's 30 of them oh no sorry okay so I finally found it is symmetry regular is one in every 25 packs and then you have the white one with which come the more rare is one every 48 packs so and there's the white symmetry here. So let me see if I could get just get a card to so you guys could compare. 
so the pretty much the base and then this would be like a parallel that's uh, more rare so and then they have I think a gold um, oh no it's a auto white so they have regular a white and then a auto white so and then a purple which is numbered to one so but anyway those those are like super rare but we don't even need to uh, learn about it but these are not serialized so but yeah I guess one every 25 packs and one every 48 and And the Nemesis subset, which I do have the full set for the recipes along with the movie posters, which I really, I really like them. Um, <clears throat> there's, I, I think I have a gold version here, so, or it's green and these are Uh, it's really hard to see all the I'll, I'll just do a later episode on these on the odds for getting these cards because it's really hard to uh, use the upper deck uh, odds thing because they're all like jumbled together <coughs> but I guess let's finish up with the stones so here is uh the set that i have so far and like i said the way they uh did this is that they have 20 different characters but each background uh, is different and all of them are between uh, six stones so combined together there's 120 of them and they're all serial to nine 299 unless uh the gold color which is 99 so I have, uh, for the most part here, I have Iron Man and they're really not like numbered in any way besides the, the IS for infinity, infinity stones, but they don't like differentiate uh, between like if it's a soul stone, space stone or power stone. Like this one is a soul stone, uh, this one's a power stone. So the way I did it is I just, um, line them up by alphabetical order and pretty much uh, this is how I st I'm gonna store them so we got all the Iron Man here with the six stones and then we have um, Star Lord and I'm probably missing which is number two number two is Oh, sorry, not number two. Number three, because that's the third character, would be all of uh, uh, Black Widow. So it would all look like this, which I should have all the stones of her. So we got one, two, three, four, five and six so so yeah I would arrange them by soul stone um, power stone mind stone reality uh, stone uh, time stone and space so yeah that's the way I would have it in I guess ABC order from Mind Stone, Power Stone, Reality Stone, Soul Stone, Space Stone, and Time Stone. And <clears throat> I guess you'll just notice that each um, <coughs> each Infinity Stone in the background, it just changes color. So you have your, uh, I guess, yellow for Mind, um, pur purple for Power, 
I uh, think this is red, maybe, or pinkish. Pink for reality. And then this one also looks red. And this might be soul. So I think the soul and the, the reality looks a little bit alike. Maybe a, more, a hint of more orange. I'm not really sure. And then we have space, which looks like it's purple. And then green for time. And those are your six. And then I'll just show you guys each character. <coughs> we got Gamora next. Well, you could kind of see that this is, I guess, more pinkish. And this is more red. But they, you could barely the, tell the difference. Um, number five would be... Let me see if I could find it. Uh, Thanos. So... We'll take all the five. And this should be all the Thanos. Yeah, I really love this um, <clears throat> this Infinity Stone set. I've been actually trying to complete um, every Infinity, Infinity Stone set, which... Um, so this set has it, the Marvel Allure. The Infinity War uh, card set also has them. Um, I think I'm halfway of uh, collecting them. I think I might have them here actually uh, laying around. So I might as well show that. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the Infinity Stones for... Um, I want to say it is uh, Infinity War. Oh yeah, it is Avengers Infinity War. And this is 2018. So here we have the Time Stone. And the thing I like about this is each one is labeled differently. So I'm not sure why the Time Stone is GT1. But uh, there's seven of them. And then there's an eight that I think you could redeem once you complete the seven. I'm not really sure, but I purchased them from, uh, from, I think I got some of them from EPAC, but, uh, I don't remember. I have to check it out again, but we have the power, uh, infinity stones here. So PP1, uh, PP2, PP3, PP4, um, <clears throat> and yeah, I, I can't remember where oh I got it I got I got them from Com C. Yeah, that's right. But uh I haven't received them yet because I think I put out the order uh just today, so I I doubt I'll get them anytime soon. Um I just know for EPAC they take so or upper deck EPAC when I send them home, like they take months. Like the this last package has been uh like I said, I think I got them like February and it's been like, um, it's been so long, so. But anyway, uh, I think, i um, trying to think if there's any more Infinity Stones for uh, other card sets uh, that I'm trying to collect, but I think this is it so far. So yeah, this is my uh, latest, one of my latest project as well. So <clears throat> yeah, we got Thanos next and then we have uh ok okay okoye yeah and then doctor strange i should have doctor strange and hulk which i'm pretty sure are the ones i'm missing so here's doctor strange and hulk hulk yeah the two i'm missing so <clears throat> number eight and seven and then we have a uh, scarlet witch yeah i'm really happy to uh finally complete this set it's a uh, <coughs> it's a lot of cards especially for uh, serialized cards uh, 299 um one of my favorite 
Scarlet Witch, of course. Uh, um, what's her name? Uh, Elizabeth Olsen is one of my favorite actress. So really love the Scarlet Witch. <clears throat> we got Vision, and then number eleven, I think it's Black Panther. So I should get the rest of the Black Panthers, and that should be done. Nebula, Black Panther, Black Panther, Thor, Nebula, Captain Marvel, Nebula, and Black Panther. So that should be the rest. That should complete the rest. So here is the rest of Black Panthers and all the different colors. Then we got <clears throat> Captain America, but of course he has passed on the torch to uh, Pal Falcon without Falcon wanting to touch the torch. Then we got Hawkeye. And who's next? It's probably Nebula. So, yeah, because I have six and six are missing. So here's Nebula. Then we got. Oh, it was uh, Drax. Wait, am I missing? <gasps> Why is Drax here? Instead of down there. Huh. I hope I'm not missing a card, you guys. But we got Thor right there. <clears throat> Maybe I just, uh, I wasn't paying attention. So uh, we got Spider-Man. And finally, well, we got three more, I guess. Um, <clears throat> what's his name? Uh, Ebony Maw. I was going to say his name was uh, Clash's Clave or something like that, but yeah, Ebony Maw, and then Valkyrie, and finally Captain Marvel. And this is how the gold looks. So I have one for Hawkeye with the Soul Stone, and the same numbering, but of course the numbering, or the serial is 99 instead of 299. So anyway, um, that's it for this episode for Marvel Beginnings and Marvel Allure. And as always, I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.